So hi, welcome back. So this is example C. So I'm going to, you're going to graph. So you're going to graph, um, so you're going to write the, uh, the piecewise defined function, okay? Represented in this graph, okay? So let's do this. So first I would like you to pause the video, okay? I would like the video to be for you like a check for understanding, okay? Checking for your understanding. So pause the video and try to do this part all by yourself, okay? So please pause. Okay, so I hope you're able to get the domain, the domain restriction correctly, but on the left side of zero and on the right side of zero, okay? So now I would like you to, um, now you're going to move on to finding the, the functions to write here after the braces. So I hope you're able to find out the slope is negative one. Why? Okay, we want to start from left to right. So I'm going to stop here. You can start at the top here. Okay, so what is happening? You're going down one and moving to the right one. Down one to the right one. Because you're going down one, you, it, the rise is negative one. And because you're going to the right one time, it's the run is positive one. You can check again, down one to the right one, down one to the right one. So the equation right here on, the on top is negative x plus one. Okay, so now let's find the second function. So as you can tell here, so if we, I move, if I go from uh, right, from, sorry, from left to right, sorry, left to right. So you go up one to the right two. So the run is, the right is one, is positive one and the run is positive two. Up one to the right two, up one to the right two, up one to the right two, up one to the right two. So the slope is one over two and the y-intercept is negative two. So the equation, the second equation is going to be one half of x minus two. Okay, how did you do here? Okay, how did you do? So I'm going to do a last one, the final check understanding for part D and that will be the end of this series, okay? See you into the next video.